In Boston, hundreds of demonstrators demanded justice for George Floyd, with the trial set to begin for the Minneapolis police officer accused of killing him. Today's protest here was organized by mass action against police brutality, but there were a dozen others like it all across the country. Here's WBZ's Paul Burton. Where do we go? Standing in solidarity, families who loved ones have been killed by police held a rally in March on Saturday in Boston South End as part of a national day of action. Hopefully we can start to make some sort of actual positive change. The event was led by mass action against police brutality. Families who lost loved ones at the hands of police shared their stories, including the family of Justin Rue, who died last year. I suffer every single day. It's a hole in my heart. We need accountability, we need transparency, we need justice. You know, the fact that we can't even get indict indictments for some of these cops is an absolute shame and an absolute outrage. Today's event is part of a nationwide action with many states across the country participating. Former police officer Derek Chauvin, who's been charged in the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis last year, will go to trial next week. They're demonstrating here in Boston because the trial on behalf of George Floyd begins on Monday. They say it's time for change, and officers involved in police brutality need to be convicted. With the occasion of this impending trial of George, uh, Derek Chauvin about to start, um, you know, we wanted to make sure that, you know, the nation knows that, number one, uh, we demand convictions of all these officers in this, in this trial. It was a peaceful protest, but one these demonstrators hope will bring about change. This isn't just about George Floyd. In every city, in every state, we have many George Floyds. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.